So if you've spent any time on my channel, you probably noticed the dozens of DaVinci Resolve presets and templates and plugins that I've made. A whole whole lot of those are free. You can download, use however you want. I have a number of paid products as well, but there is something you might not know. And that is the dozens of other DaVinci Resolve plugins um, that I've made over the last year plus that you've never seen. And that's because while I do all this stuff on YouTube and my site and stuff, uh, my kind of day job is I work for Motion VFX. Lots of people know Motion VFX for good reason. If you don't, uh, they're a site um, that makes lots of, you know, plugins and presets and templates, really cool stuff. They've been uh, in the Final Cut community for a really, really long time. And, you know, a little over a year ago, uh, they started pushing into Resolve, found me, found my stuff, um, and I've been working on them. Um, really like revamping lots of their former packs that were made for Final Cut for use in Resolve. So I've been spending lots of time in Fusion. <laughs> so I thought it was time to show off um, just a small handful of the presets and plugins I've worked on and I honestly I think some of the really cool stuff I've done um, for some of them. I can't break them apart like I have some of my other presets because you know like I made them for Motion VFX um, but like their final product I can show off um, show off some of the cool stuff they're doing. And the other big reason I'm making this video um, is that while you know it's cool I think it's valuable um, they're also running their big summer sale right now. If you want to pick up some of these packs, I think it's like their biggest sale of uh, the year. So that's pretty cool. Also, this is uh, not a sponsored video, but I am in their affiliate program. So, you know, I'll be tagging it with ad and stuff anyway, because I don't know how all that works. But I will have a dedicated link in the description to send you to that site where, you know, it does the whole affiliate deal. Um, and you can check out either of the packs I specifically talk about in this video um, or any of the stuff on Motion VFX because there's lots of good stuff. Now, briefest of extra disclaimers. A lot of the work I've done so far um, is looking at existing packs and sort of rebuilding them uh, in Fusion for use in uh, Resolve. And while a lot of the stuff I've done on these packs, like I, you know, built and even added functionality to some of those past presets, the core design of all of these was done by someone else. I'm just on the team helping putting these together. So I'm not claiming all the credit, um, but these are some of the presets I've worked on. I think they're cool. I want to show them off. I think that's all the ramble. Uh, let me show you some cool stuff. We're starting off with some fun stuff I did for the M Fitness Pack. Uh, I wanted to show off, uh, you know, a few, maybe two of these cool counters we did. Some stuff like a simple count up to a time. You got timer controls. Oh, the, this is also a small thing I didn't build. Um, but they had this like timer rig in a lot of these, really cool. It's timing up, you can count down, um, you can like speed up between clips, very, very cool. But on this one, if I toggle on my fusion overlay, we also can change the path of this and it's like stays all dynamic with how long it is, super cool. You could like pull in any other map and actually have your course be like the real course uh, it was running, super cool. You might have to like reposition this timer. But awesome, that sort of stuff. And then stuff like this quick countdown, but with this looping animation. Ooh, some of the stuff, a little harder to pull off, but really cool, really slick. Oh, I misremembered how this did it. Check this out. So this is a real time sort of counter. So by default, it's this five seconds. But if I just give this some extra room, uh, stretch it out, then it is as long as you extend the end to be. And the animations still go along with the timer. Super, super cool stuff. After that, we have a few basic graphs. Uh, slider for each of these. Uh, you change this activity amount. It updates both the text and the graphic. We have this weight loss drop in graph controls. You can change, you know, how, oh, oh, I like this one. I like this one. I forgot about this one. You can change how many months it is showing you and you can even change up these labels as well. In the value controls, you can change up any of these. And if you use these real values, it calculates their correct space. So if this go down to, you know, about the correct value. So you can get an accurate graph based on your actual data values, really cool. And then uh, this, ooh, this like sliding scale. Um, that just has this nice ease back. Looks really cool. Uh, a lot of these are highly customizable, like how you want each of these lines to look, change up their color. You can do lots and lots of stuff. M Fitness was a fun one. That was a fun one. Moving on, we have M Journey. Some of the same stuff uh, here, but let's check it out. First, we've got this uh, compass rose type deal. That animates on, looks fine, but hey, hop into graphics controls, toggle on oscillate rotation, and all of a sudden it comes on and wiggles back and forth. You can change the strength and wobble of all of that. You've also got this little like indicator guy to say, oh, you're this far off, you're this far off. Real fun, real fun. 
Next, we have uh, this root, kind of like that map before, except this is just a straight line, it doesn't loop. You can toggle on that fusion overlay if you want to change the position of any of these little points, you can do that. Real slick, change all, you know, the text, the names, all of that, super cool as well. Uh, we have another simple route, this one being between two points. And again, in that overlay, you can change this line. Uh, if you like pull in any like map data, you could have this like actually follow along roads. Make this look however you want. Be super cool. Another route, let's check it out. Yeah, this one's cool. Uh, Cause this is elevation. Uh, we have this like mountain, uh, two points, not distance, but showing like the overall change in train as this goes. And then you got that nifty overlay for changing any of those points. We do, we, we do lots of cool stuff with paths. I like it. Uh, next, M message. Um, these are some of the really fun ones, but again, I didn't super design or originally animate these, but I haven't done a lot of this kind of stuff. But if you want a little like, hey, balloons, little pop-up deals, uh, particles going on as well, little thumbs. Look how cute that is. Wee! Fun to do, fun to do. The whole variety, we got lots of particle stuff. This broader pack, which I worked on several of the other sections of this as well, is like on screen, like texting graphics. So, you know, this, uh, ooh, if I hop into this overlay one in graphics, we can change this icon. By default, it's a heart, but you can change that to custom. So, say, if I change up this image source, right on my desktop, I have the DaVinci Resolve logo. And hey, now the Resolve logo is shooting all over the place. How neat is that? I might change this inner scale a little bit to get it down. Mess with them stuff. You can change things. I think we got a little bit of a box here. Nice, cool, doing fun stuff. After that M podcast, lots of podcast graphics, and I specifically pulled in two lower thirds, but these ones we did some fun stuff. If I zoom in here, you'll see, you start to see uh, the background footage, but it's not just a low transparency graphic. You can see it's also actually blurring the background as well. Um, this is using some of the new tools I showed off um, a little while ago that I would love to circle back through um, on like standalone graphics like this. There are some cool ways to like interact with the background image, really slick on this one as well. And it like integrates graphics in a really, really cool way. Uh, and podcast, this other one, oh, is this fun little waveform guy. This isn't actually tied to any audio, but sort of just like this oscillating and moving line that just gives like this really nice clean effect. That was fun. And the last big pack we're checking out is uh, M Real Estate. I saved this one for last. Uh, there's some real, real cool stuff in here. First, hey, we've got this little slider um, of just like, hey, how much you wanna spend on your house? And if we come into graph controls, we start to see some fun stuff. We have this minimum value, the maximum value, and the value select. Now we have lots of stuff going on here, right? We have multiple text fields and the slider in the middle, but all we have to control, at least, at least this bottom part, is these three sliders. And if I change this minimum value, you can see that that slider also changes. So if I uh, you know, were to change this value select to 100,000, and change this minimum value all the way down to zero, then this would be uh, perfectly centered. But as I pull this up, if I bring this up to 50,000, up to 200,000, you see now we are balancing this. If I were to bring this, you know, back to what, 125,000 maybe to get that in the middle? Oh no, 150,000, that makes sense. <laughs> but again, like some of the other things we deal with with like real world values, we brought that in here too. And this select, you know, will uh, perfectly offset by the correct amount. Super cool. And then like the title, this up here as well. Um, you just have actual like text fields for that. Pretty nifty. And infographic three. Whoo, this one is really cool. Again, this one does even more stuff for you. So this is sort of like a monthly budget or something. But for each of these values, um, you have just a slider for that amount. And you can see this changes the renovation fund, which is showed by this color, but uh, so <laughs> this slider changes this text field, uh, the percentage of the circle that that text, uh, that that uh, section takes up and then the total monthly allowance here. So if I bring this down, that section of the, the circle shrinks and expands based on how big it is. And if I go into any other value like this five one as well, pull that up even larger. Um, you can always type in this field as well. If I enter something crazy like 500, then boom, that's a much larger chunk, but everything reacts accordingly. And even if you completely toggle this off, it gets rid of that, the, the bar adjusts. This is, oh, this is fun. Let me tell you, there is some stuff going on behind the scenes. We got expressions and modifiers and 
wild stuff, but it comes together into this really slick effect. You could take this and modify it for use in lots of other stuff. Uh, moving on, uh, we have something kind of similar, um, just like this square feet counter. Again, it doesn't have to be a square feet counter, but this is what we show it off as. If I show up the amount, uh, we can toggle that on or off, and I can change this amount on this slider here, or you know, type it in as lots of people probably would if you have just a 250 square foot apartment, but then you also have this max slider as well. Don't don't bring it below zero. Um, but it will, this will give you the correct percentage based on you know whatever type in, it will reflect that as well. Um, lots of things happening visually, pulling from like one input or slider, super cool. These presets are super fat, powerful. Moving on, we've got this simple like angle control here. But if I come into graphics, I increase this angle then again, multiple things. It increases, you know, the angle of that gap, but it also shows the correct label for that angle and has that extra sort of fill in space. You can increase that angle radius or have it off completely. Super cool. Like you could almost, there's no situation where you would need to like take a measurement as you're editing, but like you could. <laughs> but if you just need to show that as well, this is super slick. Cool. And the one I saved for last, I'm super proud of. It's super cool. Let's show it off. It's this really cool, almost like a blueprint layout, but it's crazy, crazy customizable. If I hop into graphics controls, we have lots of different stuff going on. Of course, you have overall height and width. And here we even have some fun stuff going on. You can see if I change this width and it starts to interact with this element in the wall here, it automatically brings that in so it never gets like cut off. And then for each wall, you can toggle it on or off completely, which is really good if you want to stack this effect to build like an entire house of individual rooms. But for each wall, you have two graphic elements. So you can see this uh, element one is empty, but I can toggle that on to a another door or a window or a, oh, just a, oh, that's the door. That's the door with an outline or the window. You can change that position anywhere along that wall. Uh, if it is a door with an outline, you can always have it on the outside or inside and you can flip the door direction and you can change these all over the place. You can have lots of windows everywhere. Super cool. Bring them, you know, right to the edges. You can see I have both of those right next to each other on the bottom one. So you probably thought this was one little asset. Nope, it's two. Tons of flexibility. Again, you can toggle on or off any of these walls. Shift the overall uh, size, which brings those assets along for the ride. I think this is cool. I was crazy excited when this got up and running. Took a long time, but I think the finished uh, product is pretty cool. And you know, yeah, we got like even smooth playback, lots of stuff going on, but it it's up and running in 4K. Really, really cool. I was really happy to work on it and I'm really happy to show it off to you. This has been a whole other part of my life that I have still been spending in Fusion, uh, but not as much tied to the channel. And I thought, you know, it was time to show it off um, and hey, uh, good reason if you want to pick up any of these or any of stuff on the motion VFX site You can click my link in the description again. This video is not sponsored, but that is an affiliate link So handle that as you may especially some of like the data Visualization stuff um, we teased here. I would love to cover independently on my channel um, and do some fun stuff there But for now, hey, it's fun to talk about resolve stuff and fusion stuff And I just wanted to show off some more of uh, the cool stuff. I've been working on so that's what this video was. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.